The second rule of acquisition. The best deal is the one that brings the most profit. In the context of the Ferengi, this rule emphasizes the importance of maximizing profit in any business transaction. While the Ferengi's approach is quite extreme and focused solely on financial gain, we can extract a more balanced and ethical perspective to apply to our own lives. The second rule of acquisition is actually a concept from the Star Trek universe, specifically the Ferengi culture. These rules are a set of guidelines followed by the Ferengi, who are known for their profit-driven and business-centric society. While they may seem fictional, some fans have found inspiration in applying these rules to their own lives. Let's delve into the second rule of acquisition and see how it might be relevant to real life. Howdy. I'm just some random nude dude sitting in my closet talking to myself. It's also where I celebrate the power of free thinking and encourage bold ideas. As a society, we're often afraid to challenge the norms and think outside the box. But here, I embrace the unconventional. So sit back, relax, and join me on this journey of exploration, where we embrace our inner nude dude and push boundaries to discover new perspectives. In the boundless realms of science fiction, we often encounter concepts and principles that transcend their fictional origins, offering profound insights for our own journey through life. Among these is the second rule of acquisition, a guiding precept within the profit-driven Ferengi culture of the Star Trek universe. While this rule exists in a fictional galaxy far from our own, its wisdom knows no bounds. The rules of acquisition are guiding principles among the profit-driven Ferengi. These rules, while fictional, contain valuable insights that can transcend the boundaries of the screen and provide us with a unique perspective on making meaningful decisions and navigating the complexities of our own life. The second rule of acquisition is straightforward in its Ferengi context, proclaiming, the best deal is the one that brings the most profit. Within the Ferengi society, this rule serves as a lodestar guiding every business transaction and reflecting their relentless pursuit of financial gain. However, in our own reality, it offers a canvas upon which we can paint a broader and more ethically balanced picture. It invites us to explore how we can maximize value, sharpen our negotiation skills, consider ethical implications, nurture a continuous learning mindset, and adopt a long-term perspective in our own lives. This discussion aims to delve into each aspect of this rule, dissecting its application in real-life scenarios and illustrate how it can guide us towards more thoughtful, fulfilling, and prosperous life decisions. Whether you're pondering career choices, personal relationships, or even how to invest your time and resources, the wisdom distilled from the second rule of acquisition can serve as a guiding star on your journey towards wiser decision-making and a more satisfying life. This discussion seeks to uncover the multifaceted applications of this rule in our everyday existence, exploring how its principles can empower us to make more meaningful decisions and lead lives that are not merely profitable, but also rich in wisdom, ethics, and fulfillment. As we navigate the cosmos of applying these principles, we'll find that the second rule of acquisition isn't confined to a fictional universe. It's a beacon that illuminates our path towards a more intentional and prosperous life. So let's embark on this journey of exploration and discover how the wisdom from the stars can guide us on our voyage through the galaxy of our own existence. The second rule of acquisition finds its roots in the rich tapestry of the Star Trek universe, a realm of science fiction that has captured the imagination of millions worldwide. Specifically, this rule is a product of the Ferengi culture, a species depicted in the Star Trek series, renowned for their unrelenting pursuit of profit and boundless entrepreneurial spirit. The Ferengi, as portrayed in Star Trek, are defined by their unique set of principles known as the rules of acquisition. These rules provide a comprehensive guide to life and business for the Ferengi people, and the second rule of acquisition stands as a central pillar among them. The Ferengi place an unwavering focus on financial gain, 
seeing it as the ultimate measure of success and societal standing. The second rule of acquisition, which states that the best deal is the one that brings the most profit, encapsulates the essence of Ferengi philosophy. It underscores their unwavering commitment to maximizing gains in every business transaction, often at the expense of other values, such as ethics or long-term considerations. While the Ferengi world may be light years away from our own, the principles found in their rules of acquisition offer a unique lens through which to explore the dynamics of decision-making, negotiation, and the pursuit of value in our lives. In the fictional backdrop of Star Trek, these rules may serve as satire or cautionary tales, but they also hold intriguing insights that can inspire real-world applications, inviting us to consider the balance between profit and ethics, negotiation and value, and the profound consequences of our choices. Instead of just focusing on profit, we can translate this rule into seeking the best value in various aspects of our life. In our personal and professional decisions, we should aim to get the most out of what we invest, whether it's time, effort, or resources. Maximizing value means getting the most out of your investments, whether they're financial, time, effort, or emotional. Here are some practical ways to apply this concept to different aspects of your life. When it comes to personal finances, maximizing value involves making smart investments and spending decisions. This means seeking out opportunities that offer the best returns, whether it's through investments in stocks, real estate, or other assets. It also means being mindful of expenses, cutting down on unnecessary costs, and finding ways to save and invest for the future. In the pursuit of knowledge and personal development, you can maximize value by selecting courses, books, or educational resources that provide the most relevant and applicable information. Look for learning opportunities that align with your goals and interests, ensuring that the time and effort you invest lead to tangible benefits. In your professional life, strive to maximize the value you provide to your employers or clients. This can involve continuously improving your skills, going the extra mile on projects, and seeking opportunities for advancement or salary negotiation. It also means finding a career that aligns with your passions and strengths to ensure job satisfaction and personal growth. Building and maintaining meaningful relationships is another area where you can apply the concept of maximizing value. Invest your time and energy in relationships that are mutually beneficial and supportive. Be there for your loved ones and offer your support, but also seek those who reciprocate as this adds value to your life. Prioritizing your health and well-being is essential for maximizing value in life. This means making choices that contribute to your physical and mental health, such as a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management. It also involves seeking medical advice and preventive care to ensure you're getting the best long-term value for your well-being. Time is a precious resource, and maximizing its value is crucial. Organize your day efficiently, focusing on tasks and activities that align with your goals and priorities. Avoid procrastination and distractions that reduce the value of your time. In your leisure time, engage in activities and hobbies that bring you joy and personal satisfaction. This can range from pursuing creative projects to participating in sports or other leisure activities. Ensure that these pursuits enrich your life and provide value in the form of personal growth and happiness. Consider the broader impact of your actions on the environment and society. Maximize value by making eco-friendly choices and contributing positively to your community and the world at large. Maximizing value is about being deliberate and thoughtful in your choices. It's about ensuring that what you invest, whether it's your time, money, or effort, brings about meaningful and positive outcomes in your life. This mindset can lead to a more fulfilling and purposeful existence, where you make the most of your resources and opportunities available to you. This rule underscores the importance of negotiation. 
in real life, this could mean being a better negotiator in business dealings, job offers, or even personal relationships. Striving for a win-win situation where both parties benefit is a key takeaway. Negotiation is a valuable skill that can help you achieve better outcomes in various areas of life. Here's a more in-depth look at how you can enhance your negotiating abilities. Successful negotiation starts with effective communication. Learn to articulate your needs, wants, and expectations clearly. Listen actively to the other party to understand their perspective. A good negotiator is not just a talker, but also an active listener. Preparation is the key to successful negotiation. Whether you're negotiating a job offer, a business deal, or even a decision with your partner or family, do your homework. Understand the details, facts, and potential alternatives. The more you know, the better you can negotiate. In salary negotiations or business deals, it's essential to know your own worth. Understand your strengths and weaknesses and be confident in what you bring to the table. This self-awareness is crucial for successful negotiations. The best negotiations result in a win-win situation where both parties benefit. Avoid approaching negotiations as a zero-sum game where one side wins at the expense of the other. Find common ground and solutions that satisfy both parties' needs. Negotiations can take time, and they may require patience and persistence. Don't rush into agreements, and be willing to walk away from a deal if it doesn't meet your objectives. Persistence can help you overcome obstacles and reach a mutually beneficial agreement. While knowing your goals is important, it's also essential to be flexible. Sometimes, unexpected opportunities or constraints arise during negotiations. Being adaptable and open to creative solutions can lead to better outcomes. Emotional intelligence is crucial in negotiations. Understand the emotions involved, both your own and those of the other party. Stay composed and avoid making impulsive decisions based on emotions. Empathy and emotional awareness can help build rapport and trust. Negotiating is a skill that improves with practice. Look for opportunities to negotiate in your daily life, whether it's haggling at the market, discussing a project with colleagues, or resolving conflicts with family or friends. The more you practice, the more confident and skilled you'll become. After negotiations, seek feedback from yourself and others involved. Analyze what went well and what could be improved. Learning from your experiences will help you refine your negotiating skills. Negotiation often involves resolving conflicts. Learn conflict resolution techniques to manage and diffuse tense situations, ensuring that negotiations remain constructive. Whether you're negotiating a salary, a business deal, resolving conflicts, or making decisions in your personal life, these negotiating skills can be invaluable. They empower you to reach agreements that benefit all parties involved and enhance your ability to navigate complex situations successfully. As you hone your negotiation abilities, you'll find that they can have a positive impact on both your personal and professional life. Just as the Ferengi would carefully evaluate business opportunities, we can use this rule to assess opportunities in our lives. Before making a decision, consider whether it aligns with your goals and values and whether it offers the potential for the most significant benefit. Evaluating opportunities is a critical aspect of making informed decisions. It involves addressing whether an option aligns with your goals, values, and circumstances. Here's a more detailed look at how you can evaluate opportunities effectively. Before you can evaluate opportunities, it's essential to have clear, well-defined goals. What do you want to achieve in your personal and professional life? Having goals helps you measure the potential value of an opportunity against your objectives. Identify your core values and principles. When evaluating opportunities, consider whether they align with your values. Opportunities that resonate with your values are more likely to bring long-term satisfaction and fulfillment. Every opportunity carries a level of risk and potential reward. 
evaluate the potential risks associated with an opportunity and weigh them against the potential benefits. Understanding the risk-reward ratio is crucial to inform decision-making. Timing can be critical. Some opportunities are time-sensitive, while others can wait. Evaluate whether the timing is right for you, taking into account your current commitments, resources, and readiness to pursue the opportunity. Gather as much information as possible about the opportunity. Research, talk to experts, and seek advice from trusted sources. Informed decisions are more likely to lead to positive outcomes. Assess whether the opportunity allows you to leverage your skills and passions. Opportunities that align with your strengths and interests are more likely to lead to success and personal fulfillment. Consider the long-term implications of the opportunity. How will it affect your life in the coming years? Will it contribute to your overall well-being and happiness over time? Always explore alternative scenarios. What happens if you don't pursue this opportunity? What are the other options available? Comparing multiple scenarios can help you make a well-rounded decision. Don't hesitate to seek input from mentors, friends, and family members you trust. They can offer valuable perspectives and insights that you might not have considered. Sometimes, your intuition can guide you. If you have a strong gut feeling about an opportunity, it's worth considering. However, don't rely solely on intuition. Use it as one of the factors in your evaluation process. Establish a structured decision-making process. Create a framework or checklist that includes the factors we've mentioned. This framework can serve as a guide for evaluating opportunities consistently. Remember that your goals and priorities may evolve over time. Be open to reassessing opportunities as your life circumstances change. Evaluating opportunities is about making well-informed strategic decisions that align with your goals and values. It's a skill that empowers you to make choices that lead to your personal and professional happiness, growth, and a sense of fulfillment. By carefully considering these factors, you can navigate life's opportunities more effectively. Unlike the Ferengi, who sometimes prioritize profit over ethics, we should always ensure that our pursuit of value doesn't compromise our moral principles. Balancing profit with ethical behavior is crucial for long-term satisfaction and well-being. Ethical considerations are crucial when evaluating opportunities and decision-making. They ensure that your choices align with your moral principles and contribute to a sense of integrity and well-being. Here's a more detailed look at how to incorporate ethical considerations into your decision-making process. Start by clearly defining your ethical framework. What are your core principles and values? What matters most to you in terms of morality and ethics? Having a well-established ethical foundation provides guidance in decision-making. Integrity is a cornerstone of ethical decision-making. It means being honest and true to your values, even when no one is watching. Consider how a decision may impact your integrity and reputation. Ethical decisions take into account the consequences of your actions. Think about how your choices may affect others, society, and the environment. Consider both short-term and long-term consequences. Ethical considerations include refraining from causing harm or exploiting others. Ensure that your decisions do not negatively impact individuals, groups, or vulnerable populations. Strive for fairness and justice in your decisions. Consider whether an opportunity or action treats all parties involved equitably. Avoid discrimination and favoritism. Transparency is vital in ethical decision-making. Be open and honest in your communication with others. This fosters trust and accountability. Respect the autonomy of individuals involved in your decisions. This means acknowledging their right to make choices and decisions for themselves. Ethical decisions often consider the greater good or the collective welfare. Think about how your choices may contribute positively to the well-being of society as a whole. 
Environmental ethics are increasingly important. Consider the impact of your decisions on the environment and aim for sustainability. Choose options that are eco-friendly and minimize harm to the planet. In complex situations, seeking advice from ethical experts, mentors, or ethics committees can be helpful. They can provide guidance on how to navigate difficult ethical dilemmas. Involve stakeholders in your decision-making process. Their input can provide valuable perspectives and ensure that decisions consider a broader range of interests. Ethical decisions often not only focus on outcomes, but also on the means by which those outcomes are achieved. Ensure that the methods and processes used to reach the goals are ethical. After making the decision, take time to reflect on the ethical aspects of your choice. Consider what went well and where ethical concerns may have arisen. Use these reflections to learn and improve your ethical decision-making skills. Incorporating ethical considerations into your decision-making process is about aligning your choices with your moral compass and making decisions that reflect your values and principles. It's a crucial skill for maintaining your integrity, building trust, and contributing positively to your personal and professional life. By carefully weighing the ethical dimensions of your decisions, you can make choices that promote a sense of well-being and fulfillment while respecting the rights and values of others. To make the best deals in life, it's essential to be informed and adaptable. The second rule can encourage a mindset of continuous learning and improvement, as being well-informed and adaptable can lead to a better decision and outcome. Continuous learning is an ongoing process of acquiring new knowledge, skills, and insights throughout your life. It's a valuable practice that can help you adapt to change, stay competitive in your career, and lead a fulfilling life. Here's a more detailed look at how you can incorporate continuous learning in your routine. A key foundation of continuous learning is curiosity. Cultivate a genuine interest in the world around you. Ask questions, explore new topics, and seek to understand the why and how of things. Define clear learning goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve through continuous learning? These goals can range from gaining expertise into a specific field to developing a new hobby. Don't limit yourself to a single subject or domain. Explore a variety of interests. This diversity can lead to cross-pollination of ideas and insights, making your learning experience richer. Consider both formal and informal learning opportunities. Formal education, such as courses and degrees, can provide structured knowledge. Informal learning, like reading books, watching documentaries, or participating in workshops, adds a layer of self-directed exploration. If you're in a specific profession or industry, staying updated with the latest trends and developments is crucial. Attend conferences, workshops, and seminars related to your field. Technology has made learning more accessible than ever. Online courses, webinars, and educational apps offer a wealth of resources at your fingertips. Utilize these tools to expand your knowledge. Connect with like-minded individuals who share your interests. Learning communities, both online and offline, provide opportunities for discussion, collaboration, and shared resources. Learning isn't just about acquiring knowledge. It's about applying what you've learned. Reflect on how new information or skills can be integrated into your life or work. Occasionally, take on challenges that push you out of your comfort zone. These challenges can be intellectually or creatively demanding and lead to significant personal growth. Seek mentors or experts who can guide you on your learning journey. They can provide valuable insights and share their experience and offer constructive feedback. Continuously assess your progress, solicit feedback from peers or mentors, and self-reflect on your learning journey. Identify areas for improvement and adjust your approach accordingly. Be open to change and adapt to evolving knowledge and circumstances. Continuous learning equips you with the flexibility to thrive in an ever-changing world. Recognize and celebrate your learning milestones. 
This can help you maintain motivation and a sense of accomplishment. Incorporating continuous learning into your life is a commitment to personal and professional growth. It allows you to stay relevant, embrace new opportunities, and adapt to the dynamic nature of the world. By fostering curiosity, setting goals, diversifying your interests, and utilizing various learning resources, you can enjoy a lifelong journey of discovery and self-improvement. Ultimately, continuous learning empowers you to evolve, innovate, and make meaningful contributions in your chosen endeavors. While the Ferengi often focus on immediate gains, we should adopt a more balanced approach by considering the long-term consequences of our decisions. The best deal should not only bring short-term profit, but also contribute to our overall well-being and happiness in the future. A long-term perspective involves considering the future consequences of your present decisions and actions. It can lead to more thoughtful and strategic choices that contribute to your overall well-being and fulfillment. Here's a more detailed look at how to incorporate a long-term perspective into your decision-making. Start by defining your long-term goals. What do you want to achieve in the future, be it in your career, relationships, health, or personal development? These goals serve as your guiding star when making decisions. Embrace the concept of delayed gratification. This means being willing to forego immediate pleasures or benefits for greater rewards in the future. It's about making sacrifices today for a better tomorrow. Recognize that every decision has a ripple effect on your life. Think about how choices today will influence your future circumstances and opportunities. This can encourage more responsible decision making. When evaluating opportunities or taking risks, assess the potential long-term consequences. Think about the worst case scenarios and whether you can mitigate them. This helps you make informed choices. In your financial decisions, such as saving, investing, and spending, adopt a long-term perspective. Consider how your financial choices align with your long-term financial security and goals. In personal relationships, consider how your actions today impact the quality of those relationships over time. Investing in building trust, understanding, and open communication can lead to stronger, more fulfilling connections in the long run. Prioritize your health and well-being with a long-term view. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and stress management aren't just short-term fixes. They contribute to your overall long-term health. In environmental decisions, think about the long-term consequences of your actions on the planet. Adopt sustainable practices and minimize harm to the environment for the benefit of future generations. Consider how continuous learning and personal growth contribute to your long-term development and well-being. Learning new skills and gaining knowledge can open doors to future opportunities. Reflect on the legacy you want to leave behind. What impact do you want to have on your community, your field of work, or the world at large? A long-term perspective can guide your actions in this context. Embrace adaptability within your long-term plans. Life is unpredictable, and the ability to adjust your goals and strategies while maintaining a long-term view can lead to resilience and success. Periodically, review your long-term goals and the progress you've made. Adjust them as needed and stay aligned with your evolving values and circumstances. Incorporating a long-term perspective into your decision-making is about making choices that not only satisfy short-term desires, but also contribute to your future well-being and happiness. By focusing on your long-term goals, practicing delayed gratification, and considering the lasting impact of your decisions, you can create a more intentional and fulfilling life that aligns with your aspirations and values. This perspective empowers you to make choices that lead to long-lasting satisfaction and success. The second rule of acquisition from the Ferengi culture in Star Trek can be adapted to our real lives by emphasizing the pursuit of value, effective negotiation, ethical decision-making, continuous learning, and a long-term perspective. 
It encourages us to seek the best deals in various aspects of life, ultimately contributing to our personal and professional growth and well-being. As our voyage through the principles inspired by the second rule of acquisition from the Star Trek universe draws to a close, we've unearthed a wealth of wisdom that can profoundly impact our everyday lives. In the grand tapestry of existence, the lessons derived from the fictional rule serve as a guiding light for making decisions that hold the power to transform our personal and professional trajectories. Whether you're steering the ship of your career, navigating the delicate waters of personal relationships, or charting a course towards lifelong learning and growth, the insights garnered from this exploration have profound implications for a more fulfilling and prosperous life. The second rule of acquisition proclaims, the best deal is the one that brings the most profit. A mantra that, while rooted in the pursuit of financial gain among the Ferengi, unveils a tapestry of real-world applications. We've uncovered how this rule can inspire us to maximize value in our choices, urging us to seek opportunities that offer the most significant benefit in various aspects of our life. It has prompted us to sharpen our negotiation skills, equipping us to LaForge win-win solutions and navigate the complex terrain of personal and professional interactions with newfound expertise. Moreover, this rule has steered us towards ethical considerations, reminding us that a prosperous life is not solely measured by financial gain, but also by the alignment of our choices with our moral principles. We've explored how ethical decisions contribute to personal integrity, trustworthiness, and a lasting sense of well-being. We've adopted a continuous learning mindset, recognizing that knowledge is the compass that guides us towards personal growth, innovation, and adaptation in a rapidly evolving world. And finally, we've embraced the significance of a long-term perspective a compass that illuminates the path towards thoughtful, responsible, and forward-thinking decisions. By setting our sights on the distant horizons of our goals, we've learned the power of delayed gratification, the wisdom of considering the ripple effect of our choices, and the importance of building a legacy that extends beyond our lifetimes. As we conclude our exploration, it's clear that the second rule of acquisition isn't just a concept of fiction but a blueprint for wise decision-making. It's a reminder that every choice we make, no matter how small, has the potential to shape our destinies and contribute to the tapestry of our lives. In applying these principles, we embark on a journey of profound personal transformation, armed with the knowledge and insights to navigate the universe of our existence with grace, wisdom, and the potential for boundless prosperity and fulfillment. So let's set sail with these lessons in our hearts, for the journey of a lifetime is just beginning. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. This is the point where others tell you, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content just like this. But we know that that kind of thing is for losers. Don't be a loser. And as always, I welcome your feedback and ideas for future videos in the comments section below. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep embracing your inner nude, dude.